What's up, P4L fam? It's co-founder Justine and baby Azriel. She's five weeks now. Um, we're in our typical everyday COVID home attire. Uh, I just wanted to spend some time with you guys sharing some tips on how I personally gave uh, a natural, gave birth naturally and drug free for those of you who might be interested. Um, again, this is totally not for everyone and everyone's journey is your own. Hopefully, as long as you have a happy, healthy baby, that's most important and that's what matters. But in case you're wondering um, how I kind of coped with the pain and everyone deals with pain differently, I'm happy to share those with you right now. So for one, um, water, warm water, uh, water therapy basically. Um, initially with Xylan, my firstborn, I used um, the shower. So I was in a hot or a warm shower and I felt pain a lot in my low back. So having that warm to like hot water kind of just helped dull the pain on my lower back really helped. So having that shower head. This time though, I had a different experience. I think it was even better because um, at Kaiser, they actually now have a bathtub. So me being able to immerse my body in that warm water, I just feel like the it gave me so much pain relief just being submerged in that. In addition, I also used um, like the shower head and put both. I would sit in the hot bathtub and then I would have like the hot shower head kind of help uh, release uh, and ease the tension. In addition, um, don't forget when you're in hot water, that's gonna really probably dehydrate you. So I had my hydro flask, filled it up, easy to sip on, wouldn't spill all over the place, super simple. And also um, had some snacks to keep up with my energy. So things like trail mix or cereal bars, protein bars really helped kind of keep me sustained and have that continued energy. Um, what else? Let's think. Music. Uh, the first time actually when I gave birth with my firstborn, I didn't even want to listen to music I wanted to be in silence and kind of just meditate on that This time was a little bit different. I shuffled between like classical music to help me focus and like pool party music to kind of amp me up and get me in like in a better, you know happier mood um, but definitely being able to also be still and kind of just meditate on what was happening I really had to picture like there is an end to this pain. Like what I'm going through right now, I will have a baby coming out of this. You know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. So every contraction, I'd be like, this is one step closer to meeting my baby girl. This is a good pain. This is a good pain. Lean into it, breathe into it. Okay, so something I also did with Xylin and I also did with baby girl here is I used a comb, so a fine tooth comb, and I would just kind of squeeze the comb. I think with Xylan, I even had two combs. So what it would do is it would send like more or another pain stimuli to a different area. So while I was contracting, I would squeeze, squeeze the combs. So my brain would focus on this pain and distract me away from the pain of the contractions. So that was extremely helpful, but not as helpful as this game changer this time. What was different and much like the hot tub uh, was a game changer, a percussion massage instrument. So for example, I used the Hypervolt. What I would do with Papa was he would turn on the, um, the Hypervolt and for example, he would press onto my, my uh, biceps or my traps basically send another like vibration, uh, distraction method again, similar to the combs, right when I was contracting. So as I was contracting, he'd use the hypervolt on my arm and just like really press and focus on there. So my brain would focus on this rather than all the pain that's going on with my contractions. So I highly recommend that. And I just by chance decided to bring it. But um, again, percussion instruments, I really highly recommend trying that. 